Hi, hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing really well. As you can see by the title of this video, I am doing Christmas dinner on a budget. Like I've wanted to do this video for quite some time. Obviously I needed to leave it nearer to Christmas, obviously because it's a food video and Christmas dinner. So, you know, the closer to Christmas, the better. But like a decent time frame to be able to go and get Christmas food if you are on a budget. That is what I've done in this video. I did put a little box on Instagram. I always say that like a little box on Instagram, but I put a little like suggestion box of where you wanted me to do Christmas food. And everybody said Heron and Aldi. I have already done a video on what Heron has this Christmas, like their food range. Did forget to put in that video that they have Brussels with bacon and carrots and chocolate eclairs. I also had those, but I just, I don't know why I didn't show them, I forgot to be honest. I did spend some time in Audi trying to really get it right because a lot of people are on a budget. I know not everyone is on a budget and I respect that but a lot of my channel is based on like saving money and stuff and trying to share with your bargains. You know if you can keep costs low in that because like this year has been really shit. People have lost jobs, I've got my little list and receipt in my hand. Like I, I've literally, you know, wrote everything down, I've got my receipt and my pen. <laughs> you know, I, I really went for it. <laughs> On an old debt letter that is as well, a really old debt letter. <laughs> don't mind my hair as well, I don't know what that's doing. I've not straightened it, it's just like boom, but um, yeah. I just wanna show you what you can get on a budget because like I was saying, a lot of this year has been pretty shit and you know, people have lost jobs. We are strapped for cash. I keep saying that, strapped for cash. We're strapped for cash. But um, you know, it's it's been a tight year. It's been a tight year. So if I can show you what you can get for Christmas dinner, like real cheap then i'm gonna try and show you that and i've managed to do it for less than 20 quid i'm quite impressed with that if i do say so myself under 20 quid for a decent christmas dinner i think anyway so i'll probably have some people disagree and say you know that's a really shit christmas dinner but i think if you're on a budget and you don't really want to be spending you know it's a glorified roast dinner isn't it like you don't need to go all crazy for it i have put a little menu together that i hope will help people so if it's own and you're just there for the ride this video then you know hi i hope you're all doing really well anyway you know you've had a good week it's a week before christmas so you know this allows you plenty of time to nip in aldi and whatnot and have a look so as well real christmas trees at aldi are 4.99 Less than a five off, 4 I Yeah, I took a photo and put it on my Instagram, which is fayj202 if you do want to follow me on there. But I did put that on. I know majority of people have got a tree up by this point, but I just feel like if you did want a real tree, then they're 4 because I know a lot of people think that they can be quite expensive. They have been reduced in price. So yeah, I just thought I'd let you all know that. This video is going to be a bit all over the place. I've got things like spread out everywhere, all over the side. If you think you like this kind of video, don't forget to hit like, don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you could click the notification bell, then you're alerted whenever I upload a video. It was a bit delayed then, wasn't it? It's like kind of a thing I'm doing, you know, you're notified whenever I upload. I, yeah, I don't know what that is, but yeah. You'll be notified on your screen, you know, whenever my ugly mug pops up. That I've done a new video. <laughs> really do hope this helps, but um, yeah, keep on watching. As I said previous, I do feel like Christmas dinner is a glorified roast dinner. And, you know, obviously with it being Christmas, it's special. We all like Christmas, don't we? So Sam's having a Mardi again. He's like, for God's sake, woman, hurry up. He wants to go for a walk. I feel like a lot of people stress out about Christmas food. You know, there's a lot of hype around it. A lot of adverts on TVs, everywhere you look, and it really puts the pressure on. There's a lot of people out there struggling to eat on the daily, do you know what I mean? So Christmas is just added stress, I feel like. So don't don't stress out about it honestly please don't stress out about it you're trying your best whatever you're doing so i don't even have a turkey i've got one from erin because it did look quite nice and that was only a tenner but i don't i don't do the whole turkey thing no one really likes turkey in my ass it's just all hype you can get a two pound fifty chicken down alder do you know what i mean like the closest thing to a turkey but you know it all tastes the same but for breakfast right i'm referring to my debt letter list right <laughs> For this breakfast, I'm going with pate on toast. I'm going with kind of what we do for Christmas. So I'm really sorry if you're like, well, I don't even like pate, you know? I, I'm sorry about that. I'm just, I'm going on what I know my household likes and what we have in stuff. I'm sorry about that if, you know, you, you're like, yeah, what is this shit? A loaf of bread, 45p, you know? I'm going off a family of four as well. So 45p for a loaf of bread. And then pate, assuming that you've got butter in, but if you haven't, you can still get butter because all of this dinner comes to less than 20 quid. There is a few quid to play with, so you can get butter and stuff like that. But the pate that I got, which I thought was quite nice, is this one. So this is duck and orange, which I think sounds really nice to be honest. You know, on toast. I feel like this one sounds a bit, you know, Christmassy, a bit posh, duck and orange, you know. So yeah, that's the one I've gone for, 85p. Just like a normal breakfast, you know. A lot of people do smoked salmon and scrambled eggs and you know, they all make it very posh, very posh. But you know, admittedly we've done that, but 
there's no, it's no, like, I'm not bothered if we didn't. Do you know what I mean? I'm not, like, stressed about it. I'm not like, oh my God, we haven't got any smoked salmon in, darling. What are we going to do? Christmas is ruined. No, it's not like that at all. So, it's Christmas hype. I fell into the hype trap. But also, as well, I got these. Because I know not everyone, especially kids, likes pate on toast. So I've got some all-butter croissants. Croissants, I think that's how you say it. Croissants. There is eight of them in here and they were 95p. Like I said, there is a few quid to play with. So if you wanted to get like chocolate spread or anything, instead of pate or chocolate spread to put on these, you know, you can play around with it. Going off this little menu that I've put together, um, you know, it's a real cheap breakfast. As a child growing up, we always had a prawn cocktail for lunch, like before our main meal. And that's what I've done in this video. Now, all I've got to show you with that is four tomatoes. It's a six pack, but I ain't even got six because I've used two today. We had the prawns last night. So, you know, I'm still gonna tell you the prices and what you can get to make that prawn cocktail. But yeah, I've only got tomatoes to show for it. <laughs> we did have a large bag of prawns that would definitely, definitely like easily make four prawn cocktails. You know, even more to be honest. Were quite big to be fair, so I was quite impressed. And then obviously your salad. So tomatoes were 60p and the lettuce was 45, but they didn't have any lettuce, so I couldn't get it. And the cucumber was 45. Again, they didn't have that. That's like the basis of a prawn cocktail. They also don't sell seafood sauce. I wasn't aware of this. They actually told me to queue up at B&M if I really wanted it, which was next door. Um, <laughs> but you can get it down Lidl, Tesco, other stores like that. You know, just nip in and get some seafood sauce. Or assuming you have ketchup and mayonnaise, you could like make your own. Now, somebody said it's salad cream to make seafood sauce. I mean, it probably is, but I've always used ketchup and mayonnaise. I think it tastes banging. Like it's pretty much spot on seafood sauce. To me, anyway. Assuming you've already got those bits in, you can make a seafood sauce. Mayo was like 49p and the ketchup was like 59p. So you could easily get those from there and make your own sauce. But um, yeah, they don't sell it apparently. So uh, yeah, I didn't know. That's a real cheap Christmas lunch. Just like, I always like line the bowl, like I do it in bowls. So I always like line the bowl with like lettuce, chop up my cucumber, chop up my tomatoes, mix in my prawns and my sauce, and I'll just put it in my little lettuce pouches. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what I do. I just, I fill my lettuce pouch with, yeah, you know. So that's Christmas lunch ticked off. On to the actual main Christmas dinner. So I've done everything that we would do. Like I said, I don't have turkey or anything. So I haven't got a turkey, but I have got two other options. So I'll show you those. I just want to say how amazing it is that places like Aldi, especially Aldi, it's the cheapest place. All their vegetables are 14p, even potatoes. A bag of spuds are only 14p down Aldi. I, I'm so shocked, honestly, so shocked. That's gonna help so many people out. I know majority of vegetables are cheap, but it's a big difference from like 89p for a bag of something to like 14p, isn't it? Like, I find that amazing, to be honest, that they're able to sell them at those prices because that's gonna help so many people out. But, um, you know, Christmas dinner, so all your veggies, 14p. So I've gone for parsnips. I always do roasted parsnips on Christmas day. Carrots, a massive, massive bag of carrots. This is, I think it's a kg, yeah, one kg of carrots, 14p, 14p, like, oh, just, Brussels sprouts, 14p, like, <laughs> a bag of potatoes, 14p, these are 29p, which is amazing in Tesco, but 14p, like, 14p. Personally, I'd stock up on the spuds because, you know, like, you can get sacks and stuff, can't you, for like seven quid, you know, like the big, big sacks. You know, you could make your own big sack, you know, make your own big sack of spuds. So cheap, so cheap. So, you know, 14p, like, that's, that's really good, honestly. I'm really shocked by that myself. Did also grab some garden peas as well, which were 21p. Just added extra on the plate, you know, not everyone likes parsnips or whatever. But 21p, I did only get one tin if you wanted more, like if you do prefer peas and stuff like that. Like I said, 21p. That's all the veggie part of Christmas dinner. There is enough potatoes there to make like roasters and mash. Like I like a mixture of both. You know, at 14p though, if you do want to make like a whole sack of like roast potatoes, at 14p you could get another bag and just do that. I got cranberry sauce, which was only 45p. That is because they didn't have like horseradish or anything in. Like I much prefer mint sauce, horseradish. They didn't have anything in, it was quite busy. You know, everyone's in a big rush to get all their Christmas stuff. But cranberry sauce, I wanted to show you is 45p at Aldi. Like all of their condiments are that price, you know, like the jars and stuff. So you know it is so cheap like don't go for branded i know in my heron haul i did show you the branded version that's because that's all they had 45p at aldi you know you can't go wrong also grab pigs in blankets as well 12 of these for one pound 79 
you know, decent. They're all just 12 packs everywhere. I've never known a place to do more than 12. Majority of Christmas dinners have to have pigs in blankets, you know. So £1.79 for 12 of those. Also got stuffing as well. 29p for a box of stuffing. You can add to it as well, like you can add flavours. I really like the sage and onion flavour anyway, but 29p. 29p, so you've got stuffing as well. You know, 29p. Going off what we've decided to have for Christmas dinner this year. So gammon, like this is a hefty bit of gammon, you know. £3.19, £3.19, very nice. I have to say like gammon is one of our favourite meats. Like everybody really likes it in this house. Quite a bit there, like there's always some left over you know, when I make this on a Sunday dinner. Also fancy beef as well. So I got like a nice, decent sized joint of beef. And this was £5.72. Decent looking bit of meat, like it doesn't look shit, you know, cause sometimes meat can be a bit ropey, can't it? But that's a decent size. So I'm just gonna cook the two on Christmas day, you know, and offer the choice because it's nice to have a bit of a choice. But you know, if you only wanted one of them, you're saving even more money. But look at them. Like we're a family of four, you know what I mean? I'm basing this on a family of four. Like that's a lot of meat for a family of four for one day. You know, there's gonna be a lot left over. You can make bubble and squeak and you know, you've got enough for Boxing Day. You can also have chicken as well. They've got like large chickens for 2 50 You know, they have got pork joints and stuff, which I'm pretty sure you could make in this budget. Honestly, you can serve a really decent Christmas dinner for less than 20 quid. So, you know, I, I hope it helps. Now down to put in, like I know a lot of people have like gattos and stuff, but I'm not a fan, you know, I never have been a fan. And it turns out my kids ain't a fan either on Big Steve. So, you know, we have different puddings on Christmas day. So I've picked up things that we like and I, you know, I think that you'll like as well if you're on a budget. So 12 of these mini Belgian chocolate pears and they were, I've got my little list here. These were 79p, 79p for them. That's not bad at all. You know what I mean? I've gave a bit of a variety here for pudding and also, got some strudel this is quite a big one you know do love a bit of strudel 79p for this and this one serves six you know if you're a family of four you can have fat bastard portions and it don't matter another option as well is strawberry swell cheesecake this one serves five 65p the ones that are 65p are only strawberry and lemon but you know we quite like them flavors big steve has picked up a chocolate one which is 99p mince pies these are the snazzy ones £1.39 for these or you can get a pack of six, which are 75p. Again, you could lower that budget. I just like the ones with the dusting on. To go with the puddings as well, you know, so you haven't got like a dry off strudel. You know, I got a bit of ice cream. This was £1.9 for a big, a big tub. Custard, which was 42p. You know, if you fancied that with your strudel. The gravy at Audi is 79p, but if you have got a Tesco or a co-op nearby, it's 20p at Tesco and 40p at co-op. All taste the same to me, honestly. Also add other veggies as well. So red and white cabbage, 14p. The Swede was 14p. So you can just mix it up, honestly. Like if parsnips ain't your thing or whatever, you know. After adding everything up, it all comes to £18.19. That's for the whole of the Christmas dinner. Um, and you know, your extras, like your mince pies and just all bits like that. Like that's what it comes to. So there is a little bit to play with for butter and gravy and stuff like that. So, you know, it is literally 20 quid and under. But you know, a lot of people stress, I've been there myself. I've been in tears before because of the pressure of Christmas. It doesn't have to be like that, honestly. Like, don't stress about it. It's just one day. To be honest, there is enough food here to like carry it over to Boxing Day. You know, you could make more meals. You know, even Christmas Eve, depending on how much your family eats and stuff. But I'd say going on a family of four, like there's a lot here, you know, to have a decent sized meal. You don't have to scrimp on meat and potatoes and stuff like that. So, you know, I hope that helps. I really do. Like, I just, I wanted to do this video and try and do it on a real tight budget because like I said, I know it's stressful. So yeah, I hope that's all right. I did get other bits besides the Christmas meal, so I'm gonna show you them now. I got some Christmas cards, which do say 99p on them, but they were 75. These are for the lovely people I look after at work, you know, not forgetting about them at Christmas. So yeah, 75p for them. I also grabbed some of these as well. 67p for a two pack. I bloody love these, honestly. A bit of butter and salt in a bit of foil or in the oven, like very nice. Also grab this pork pie selection, three pork and caramelized red onion and three pork and stuffing ones, which I think sound quite nice. They were £1.29. They have got other ones as well, but you know, it was so busy in that area. I didn't get a chance to see what they were. So I just grabbed these ones. Grab these as well, which were 75p. So you get like all the different like pretzels and bits and bobs, just like picky bits. But I thought 75p is not bad. Some mayo and ketchup. Like I said, you can make your own seafood sauce with this. 
A lot of people said it was salad cream, but I much prefer it like this and I think it tastes the same, so. Picked up some cheese and onion rolls as well. These were £1.9 for, is it a six pack? Yeah, a six pack of these. I feel like the bigger ones are much more flavoursome. Like I feel like they've got more fill in, but Big Steve prefers the smaller ones, which are £1.25, I think they are, for a little pack. The lid as well that you can seal back up. Resealable is the word I'm looking for. <laughs> grab some crumpets as well for like 20 odd P. I think we're about 22 P. So grab some of these as well. I haven't tried these ones from Aldi, I don't think. Well, I might have, I can't remember anyway. These are like 50 P, I think. I think. You can add them to omelettes and all sorts, really. Picked up some of these which look quite nice. So they are turkey and stuffing flavored bites. I do love stuff like this. You know, just pure shit Christmas food, you know, like just absolute junk food. Just stuff that you pick out all day. You know, when you're feeling like really big and bloated, but you're still going. Do you know what I mean? It's one of them, or maybe that's just me. They're only like a quid. I think they might be less than a quid. This is the 95p cheesecake that I was telling you about. So like I said, the strawberry and lemon one are 65, but if you wanted a chocolate one, these are 95. Grabbed a fajita kit as well, £1.15, um, and you know, it's a hell of a lot cheaper than the old El Paso one, I think it is. Like, that's like two quid odd, unless it's on offer but £1.15 set price and you know, I do usually buy it all separate, but I just thought, sorry, I'd have to grab it like this this time. Box of Cocoa Pops, well, Choco Rice, pretty much Cocoa Pops for only 69p. Even cheaper than Tesco that is, so that is a bargain. Also I grabbed a pizza as well, but I do prefer Herons, I have to say, and Herons are a bit cheaper from their XL range. The ones there are 59p. This is 67p. I'm on that health hype at the minute, like I'm really trying to change how I eat and how I see food, like it's, you know, it's it's a process, you know, it's a journey, but I'm I'm changing a lot of stuff. So I'll grab some couscous, which is very cheap. I think this is like 35p a pack, but I love couscous. It's very filling. Lemon one is just so nice. I think that's this one. No, I ate it last night. I thought I got more than one. But um, yeah, the lemon one's really nice. I'm trying to be very good and not necessarily call it a diet, but you know, like, like a lifestyle change, you know, from eating a load of shit all the time to just being a bit more mindful of what I'm eating and stuff. To help me on my lifestyle change, I have got some kiwis. These were like 60 some at P, um, you know, bargain. I do like a kiwi, controversial, but I eat the skin. But tell me I'm not alone, honestly, like, people do do it, like I, I have known people to do it. Big Steve looked at me like, what the hell are you doing? Honestly, you, what are you doing, savage? <laughs> also grab some puddings as well. So jam sponge and sticky toffee pudding. Couldn't get that out there, sticky toffee pudding. You know, I talk too fast, I know I do. I've had that commented before, like, I do talk too fast. Yeah, I can't help it. But these are supposed to serve four, but I know Big Steve will just eat these. Like, how is this supposed to serve four? I don't know. Maybe this is why I'm trying to, like, be healthier because maybe I see food different to everybody else, I don't know. But I just, I feel like they're very small. I also forgot to add these to the Christmas budget, but they're so cheap, it would still be under 20 quid. I've got orange, Coke and lemonade, but honestly, they're pence. Like they're about 20 something p each. Like they're so cheap. I think the Coke and lemonade are like 17p. So you could still add that in the budget. And then, you know, you've got fizzy drinks if you are into fizzy drinks. Not everyone is into fizzy pop and stuff, but I just thought I'd add it because we like a bit of fizzy pop. I've totally cut it out, but you know, it's nice to have that option. Sometimes you do fancy it, don't you? So yeah, very cheap. That's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you could leave a like and subscribe, honestly, it really means a lot. Don't stress, it's one day hyped. There's so much hype around it, honestly. It's not fair to feel all that pressure. So, you know, let go of what you can't control and stuff, you know, don't, don't stress about things. It's really not worth it. So yeah, hope whatever you're doing, wherever you are in the world right now, you're having a great day or evening and I'll see you in my next video.